In this lesson, we are going to continue our study of the techniques used to develop melodic motifs. As you probably gathered from the last lesson, most motivic development involves some form of repetition. Repetition is the underlying key to motivic development. The next techniques we will look at are the techniques of intervallic expansion and intervallic compression. Simply put, intervallic expansion is the repetition of the melodic motif using larger intervals. Here is an example. As you can see, the melodic motif in the first measure consists of a fifth followed by two seconds. The repetition of the motif in the second measure is an intervallic expansion of the motif since the interval of a fifth has been expanded to a sixth. There are three options for intervallic expansion of a motif. A single interval may be expanded, multiple intervals may be expanded, or all the intervals may be expanded. We have already seen an example of the first option in the previous slide. Here is an example of the second option. As you can see, two out of the three intervals have been expanded. The fifth and the third in the original motif have been expanded to a sixth and a fourth in the second measure. The interval of a second remains unchanged. In this example, all of the intervals have increased in size. The thirds in the original motif have become fourths, while the second in the original has become a third. In all of the examples we have looked at thus far, we expanded the intervals by making them one number larger. It is important to note that when using intervallic expansion, the intervals can be made larger by any amount, and do not necessarily need to be made larger by a single number. A third, for example, doesn't need to become a fourth. A third could also become a fifth, sixth, seventh, etc. Once you understand intervallic expansion, it is very easy to understand intervallic compression. Intervallic compression is simply the opposite of expansion. In intervallic compression, the melodic motif is repeated using smaller intervals. As with expansion, there are also three options for compression. A single interval may be compressed, multiple intervals may be compressed, or all of the intervals may be compressed.